Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how to build a rule in Jira automation so that as soon as all the tasks that are linked to the user story are closed, the story gets closed automatically. Okay, so it is very similar to what we have looked into the epic right which is out of the box available as well but understanding to build the rule from scratch will give you an edge and if you want to customize in la uh, later that will help you to basically customize the existing rules as well so let's quickly go back to the project where we were and we will go to this rcv jira mobile app project and we will build a project rule okay so go to the project settings and click on the project settings and then we'll go to the automation section so let's quickly create the rule now first thing to create a rule is trigger right so what is the trigger when the issue transitions right so we are tr as soon as their issue is transitioned to where to the status done okay this is the first sort of trigger which we, on which basically we are going to check that if the issue is within the story or the story is the parent of this particular issue then go ahead and do all of those checks okay so i'll save it and then as we have understood previously in the epic one uh, if all the linked issues within the epic are closed then close the epic similarly we'll add a branch right so in this we'll say a branch and then we'll use a branch rule which is related issue rule okay so if you if you want to build a rule wherein there is a related between the issues parent child etc this is what we have to use so we'll say branch rule related issues and the type of related issues if you select from the drop down what we are looking for is the parent right so it will find the parent issue of the subtask that triggered this rule okay now whatever subtasks will be there within the parent okay that is what we are going to check in this particular case right so for the parent we are trying to select this particular rule so when the issue is transition for the parent okay so we'll simply go ahead and save it and then we'll check the condition that the parent is not actually closed right so we'll add a new condition that the parent is not done okay so in the condition we'll say issue field condition and we'll say status is does not equal to what does not equal to done so parent is actually not closed or done okay so in this case we say for example we are transitioning the subtask then we will check the parent of that subtask okay whatever the parent is um, and then check that the parent is actually not moved into done or closed and then move further the next condition we are going to check is that all other linked issues in this particular parent are actually done right so we'll add a new condition there and we'll check the issue field condition right so we'll check uh sorry not the issue field condition the related issues condition so what this will do is it will check if related issues exist or match a G jql okay so all other related issues okay so and the subtasks present within this particular parent right so we have selected the parent so parent will have the subtask okay so what the condition of these subtasks is so all of the subtasks that are there in this particular parent all match specified jql we'll select all match specified jql and we'll say status of the subtask is equal to done okay why because this as soon as this issue is transition it will check that what is the parent what is my parent this issues parent and it will check okay this abc123 is the parent of this particular issue then it will also check that the parent is not done okay which is this particular condition then it will check all other child that are there in this particular parent all other tasks that are there for this parent task which is say for example story are actually done only then go ahead and execute this rule or close this parent which will come into the action okay so i'll add the action so i'll put it done okay and then we'll add a action okay if all of this is condition is true for the parent that parent is not done when the issue is transition and all other child issues in the parent are actually done the subtasks are actually done then go ahead and trigger an action okay action of what action of transition so transition the parent okay so i'll simply say transition the issue okay to 
done that's it okay click on save so this is basically what the rule will look like okay so when the issue is transitioned to done okay for a parent and the parent will have sub task other linked issues etc so whenever there is an issue that is being transitioned and it will it is it has the parent it will check that for the parent the parent is actually not completed not done and all other sub tasks within the parent are actually done okay so say for example there are three sub tasks and two of them are done this is the last sub task that you are closing the transitioning to done then it will check that status of the parent is done not done and all other sub tasks so two other sub tasks it will check it will check are actually done then it will do the transition in case there are three sub tasks but only one has been done two are remain remaining so you are closing the second task what will happen is so in the second case the issue is will be transitioned to done for the parent parent status will again be not done okay which is fine but then it will come and check all the sub tasks within the parent so it will find that one sub task has been done this is the second one that you are marking as done but the third one is still open okay so the condition will fail and the transition this transition will not happen in this case okay so this is this is how the rule automation rule builder will actually work okay so here let's say close story as soon as all sub tasks in story are closed okay so i have provided the name there and who can edit i'll just leave it as all admins and turn it on okay so this is enabled now right now let's quickly go back and test this particular rule that is actually working so here i have this particular uh, sprint one there is a story here which has some of the tasks okay so let me open this in the new window here and let's try to close the tasks one by one okay the tasks that are linked to this particular story one by one and see that the rule is actually working working as expected now there, there are three sub tasks in this particular case okay so if i close this one if this particular issue is being transitioned to done okay so the rule will get triggered in this case as well the rule will check how many sub tasks are there okay so at the moment parent is not done so that first condition has passed yes parent is not done but then it will come to the second condition that all are are all other sub task in this particular parent move to done so in this case two are still open right so that trigger won't happen in which case this parent task won't move to done okay now let's close this second one okay move this second one to done okay again there is still one sub task design sub task which is still open okay so that rule will again fail in the second condition and the action of closing this parent task parent story is still not going to happen all right now if i go ahead and close this third design sub task to done okay now in this case you will see the parent story here you will see that automatically this will move to done you will see that it has automatically moved to done right so the rule runs behind it checks for the condition and as soon as all the conditions that we have defined in the rule are met the story has been automatically moved to done or has been closed okay so this is briefly how you are going to create the rule within jira so that the issues that are there the sub task issue type the child issues within the parent issue if all of them are closed the parent issue gets closed or moved to done automatically okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching